Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this, well, what is it? Saturday morning, August 1st, first day of August, 2020, about 10.28 a.m. and got a pretty good sized earthquake coming into the Philippine, uh, Philippines region. 6.4 magnitude earthquake, a very deep earthquake as well, coming in at 479 kilometers below the surface. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more investigating on this uh, earthquake here. Go over here to the latest earthquake map from the USGS and we'll swing over here across the Pacific towards the Philippines. And we can see the red circle there indicating the most recent earthquake and the earthquake in question, which is the 6.4 strike in there. Very deep. Luckily, this is uh, not at a shallower depth. Otherwise, we'd be looking at quite a bit of damage within the vicinity. I don't believe there's going to be any type of tsunami warning with this earthquake either due to the depth of the earthquake. But um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and check that out just for the heck of it. Go over here to the Tsunami Warning Center real quick and double check that. I, like I said, I don't believe there's going to be one. And I don't see anything popping up as of yet. But um, yeah, pretty deep, uh, really deep earthquake for this region and rather large as well. Historical seismic activity in the region, obviously really active. And of course, over here towards the east as well along that plate bound or the... Uh, at the plate boundary over here to the west east i'm sorry uh, but this circle or the star i should say is right where the epicenter of this current 6.4 struck near I'm trying to get that city right there what's it called uh cotabato city i'm probably pronouncing it wrong but i don't know i don't is there a different way of pronouncing that anyway within this area uh, definitely some population density out here so i'm sure quite a few folks felt this earthquake uh, but good thing that it's a lot deeper than um, than shallower, just due to the fact that a shallower earthquake is going to do more substantial damage at the surface. So the only bad side, negative side on this uh, on this deep earthquake is we tend to see an uptick in uh, larger earthquakes following very deep quakes, and this here is definitely a very deep quake. So definitely be on guard today. Um, around the region and uh, well pretty much around the Pacific Plate uh, just due to the like I said the depth and the magnitude there it's pretty pretty large earthquake but it's also very deep and that means some major movement going on down way down below the surface levels um, over the past few hours or so we had seen a couple smaller fours well to the south here ways away from the Philippines even further south in the Indonesia islands area. Of course, this is all typical earthquake activity for them, but uh, no, aside from those couple fours here, we didn't really see any type of, uh, um, you know, buildup, I guess, if you will, in the region or any signs that something was about ready to take place. So anyway, 6.4 once again um, in the Philippines. A depth of 479 kilometers below the surface. Good thing, like I say, once again. Let's go ahead and uh, switch over here to the uh, seismos. I did see this coming in there. I think we see a little hint of it right there, possibly. Now we got some P waves coming in um, from that specific earthquake right there in the Philippines. So that's going to probably be shaking the earth for a little bit with vibrations. Anyway, hope everyone has a great, enjoyable weekend out there. Jump off here and we'll be out here on the live stream. Have a good day, folks.